On the first day they asked me to come train with the first team, it was like as if I was dreaming like I've been here for like a month and two weeks and already they asked me to come train with them and achieving some of my dreams.
Great friendly matches to prepare the boys ahead of the challenge. And a little time to prepare themselves. It's their number two for the year. 2024 and they will surely hope to keep wrapping it up and putting smile into the face of numbers of fans watching them at home watching them live and watching them throughout the whole world in red is the home side and in white is the visitors who will surely be trying to dug out to the heart of the home side who is coming in to just get everything right after having a very much good campaign against three AC team beside the center referee trying to have communication with the two captain of the two side at Kaka FC Goalkeeper is Ahmed Ubayo Sadiq from the left side. Ojedele Abiodo with 11 jerseys. Francis Joe with a 6 jersey. Manuel Daniel with a 4. James Makojola with a 5 jersey. Latif Suleiman with a 13. Lamina with a 12. Jim Ridwan with a 15 jersey. Sunday Daniel alongside Sunday Bamidele and Kudus. Olaifa is the second choice goalkeeper for Okaka FC as we go straight to the lineup of the FC Betty side. Remain their number one choice, one of the most reliable and consistent goalkeeper in the goalpost. Apreshi Cosmos from the right is the running and the very much informed Alaide Oyami will be playing from the right side. From the left is really precious or air raid. The two centre back is looking very much good. Waris Akinshola as well will be playing as a left back who will surely be overlapping to join the centre forward. Chizong will go with a four jersey. Alongside Etido George with precious O'Hare will be the two centre back. To make the pair in the middle of the area is Razak Mendy alongside Clement Lockie, one of the most reliable and consistent midfielder. I call him Sunday Olise Nigeria, one of the best replica for Sunday Olise in the middle of the area. Three centre forward in front is Madu Jude alongside David Adeyemo, with their in form and unstoppable for now. Atakule Musili, who had four goals in December to wrap 2023 20, up. And having a very much good hope of having a better 2024 as we await the referee rights referee whistle to kickstart this game. Beside her, performing their usual prayer and want to write, giving information, talking of the captain of the side, a Kurishi Cosmos as well, trying to just get everything right by giving words to his teammate to just. The right hand time of the Okaka FC side in white and white short as well. Having FC Bede the host in the red and red short with white socks. Hoping to just rack it up and get everything right. It's a very much cool weather to enjoy 19 minutes of a side aside football. As the center referee keep checking on his wall to get a whistle on the way and kickstart this game. But for now, that is the rapping anthem and the rapping control of the FC Bede side instead of any matches to be played. And wherever you are, sit back and relax and enjoy this to the side. 90 minutes of a club friendly fixture involving FC Bede at home against Okaka FC all the way from Lagos. Don't forget the Okaka FC as well will be participating in this year. Nationwide League One. The visitors now start the challenge and start the campaign with hope of getting the maximum result in this game. They are playing from right to left. Yes, 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 forgetting yes, yes, the goalkeeper yes, is Ahmed yes, Usman. Yes, 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 Whistle is gone. There is a challenge on the left back, Latin Suleiman, which will be going in advantage of the visitor side. Yeah, they go stand there as the center referee goes forward to confirm Latin Suleiman X status. Referee finally stopped the medics to be on the touchline. Oh, he was caught upon seconds ago, but at the end, Lexi Slimon is okay to continue. Went forward by Ahmed Usman. I'm not sure the Okaka FC side will be very much aware they are playing against the side who is always good. Dominant on the home soil. Talking of the FC Betty side very much Hard to see visitors come here on the home side, on the home territory of the FC Bede to record victory. Last year was recorded by the Oshu United side. Great score by Gabriel God's Power. Late January last year, 2023. United was the only team in the year to stop the unbeaten run after three matches played. 
for facing Oshun United and now having 2024 in a very much good way as well. Recording their first win of the year against 3 SCTB, 4 1 it ended. Freaky this time, advantage. You can see shot one from Francis Joe. Into the left side to try to dazzle forward there by Lamina Muhammad. Sunday, Bamidele, and it's too much at the hand to get a better a throw to relieve the pressure and restart once again. It's a good combination between pressures and Etigo George in the last game against Tracy Team beside. And they're coming into this with another full hope of confidence. Run forward by Alide Oyemi. Trying to show his quality with the pace. Gets to the ball before going out now. One on one with the leg pack. Seek support from his own teammates. Trample in. Not the best control of ball from Madu Jude. For the fans from Chisholm to go. Seems to be heavy for Madu at the end. Gives advantage for the visitors to return back to possession as they gradually lose out once again for another attack with Rag Zach Mendy. Good recovery there by Zach Mendy. I'm sure it should be a foul, correct? Decision made by referee Freaky Gibbon. She's on Motogu. Swingsy Pafali forward now for Precious. Not the best cross there from Madhu Jude. Waris Akushala had a very good game again, shooting Star Stimbe from the left side. Played the whole 90 minutes of the game. And now he's coming in as a starter as well. Trying to show he's a better replacement of Razak Taiwo. Who's as well one of the most influential players playing as a left back in Australia with FC Midland. The right side. There is a player on the touchline from the Okaka FC side. We may have a very much quick reflection. Is okay after being attended to by the medics. Talking of Sunday, Daniel with the number 18 jersey for. The Okaka FC was earlier injured and his back okay continue. One touch football enjoyable this time from the onside. At the end, it's too high for the Kule Musili who is eager to open his 2024 20, calendar. Much forward by Ahmed Usman. But goalkeepers are yet to be called to action with five minutes of action so far. It's been a well organized defensive role from the two teams who are trying to be very much conscious and organized not to give much more room for their opponent attempts and attackers to be very much good up front and see them just get themselves composed and give them much more opportunity for their goalkeepers to be called to actions. forward. So he's gone. Advantage gets a bit of free kick after foul on the lady of Yemi. Shot on from the lady to Chizama Togu. Springs he for, for Razak Bendy. Good ball movement from the midfielder. High cross A. And at the hand, Adam Kule Musle was just trying to. Sensi so much good to David Aremo and allocating his own teammates. Good ball forward once again and he's chased forward by David. Goalkeeper coming up his line to settle for a throw. A fall from the KKFC player. Hopefully not a muscle problem, having a bandage on his knee. Hopefully nothing so much serious on the young player who is down, being attended to by his own teammates to know if the medics' attention will be caught upon. Finally, the referee called upon the medics to attend to the player down for KKFC.
Well, you're delayed. Have you always the player enjoyed, but play still continue with Clement Lockie. Chris is good! Oh, and it's a final goal! That's a big credit to Angakula Musiliu with a fine, fine heading. He pulled the goalkeeper into a big stress. And the rebound was absolutely well matched in by David Aremo. They have to give a big credit to Angakula Musiliu with a heading. And the follow-up from David Aremo was absolutely perfect in a very much good position. He put the ball into the back of the net in a very much good position. Well, you have to see that big credit from the teammates of FC Bale side who say thank you to Adekule Musili with that fine heading. Stretch the goalkeeper, had a late movement of ball to rise up and make a rebound to save that. And finally, the home side lead with seven minutes of action. And hopefully, still more to come. We went shot one. Sunday Daniel. Heads back. It's going to be the first yellow card of the game. With eight minutes of action. You see by the captain of the side of the Okaka FC. He's the first player who goes into the referee booking in this game. Must be careful not to see red. And you just have to just be careful. Adebayo Sodik is the captain of the side for KKFC. Goes into the referee booking. Play continues from the back line of the FC Bay side to restart. They win against three FC team beside. Surely gives them much more confidence to approach any opponent who comes here. That is what we are seeing so far with nine minutes of action coming into this game with full much confidence approaching a KKFC defense line without fear. Next time there is a whistle on David Aremo, which will be advantage KKFC side. Sunday Daniel. Still in advantage. Sunday Bamidele. Good ball from Sunday Bamidele, but the defender is there to make a stopover for a needed clearance. Quick one as they are trying everything possible to come back into this game quickly. Strikes for goal. And it's off target. Out for a goal kick. No problem for Akureshi Cosmos who watch the ball. Perfectly well for a goal kick. The tactic chance of the two teams passing this pressure to their boys. from the right reverse angle. This time we'll be taken by the right back Olaide Oyemi. With numbers of players, Etido George as well comes back forward to join the attackers inside the bus area of the Okaka FC to make the follow up from the set piece. Living pressure on Zohari alongside Akinshala Wariz. as the centre back alongside Madu. Otogu. The flag raised. Razak! Saved by goalkeeper for the second time. He's called to action. Razak Mehdi. With his wicked foot. Left foot strike. Pace the goalkeeper. But this time, goalkeeper make sure he's well saved. Want to punch the ball into the hands of the big follow up from the FC Bede side who is trying everything possible to make the follow up safe from the goalkeeper. Time they save from the goalkeeper, make sure he's point heavily out. Cosmos goes down to the rescue. So the cover stand for the FCB side with 11 minutes of action. They are having so much worry to play in this game. Disappointing one from Mendy Razak. He's not really under pressure with that. 
foul seen by referee, which will be an advantage of Kakaf Sasai. Start is the foul on Sunday. Bamadir will be taken by Sunday Daniel. The ball swings in and he's straight to goalkeeper's hand without fear. Confidence approach from the goalkeeper who had not really been having much work to do so find this game talking of Apareshi Cosmos. We launch back to goalkeeper who falls, was so lucky to rise up quickly. I mean, Usman, James Makojola, sexy back to Francis Joe. A chance now for the Columbus Sileo! Oh, it's the post! It was so free to strike and almost close to open 2024 calendar. What a gift from the goalkeeper Ahmed Usman. What a moment it will have been and a smiling, tackling moment for our other Columbus Sileo to open the scoring and make it goal number two count. So much unlucky, it's the post, and the follow up once again from David Aramor goes out for a goal kick. Too much place in there from other Kula Muslim who make sure he stretched the goalkeeper and trying to take advantage to punish the goalkeeper mistake. Who we'll sees that pass as a gift from the goalkeeper, but at the end, it's well utilized. Like coming closer and closer, seeing so much scaring up front, causing much more problem for the defenders of the Okaka FC side. They're just trying everything possible to take advantage of the little chances they are creating up front, talking of the FCB side. They've been looking so much sharp up front, talking of the Okaka FC side, with so much silence. It's been a wonderful job done by Razak Mendy, trying to recover the ball possession in advantage of the FCB side. Good job once again from Alaide Oyemin. It's been so much exceptional to watch these young men play from the right position as a right back. So much difficult for a midfielder who play as a left back midfielder to beat off. The right back talking of Alaide Oyemian as well, a very much skillful striker who plays from the left flank as well. Always causing much more problem and hard going into the face of uh, opponents. We're making sure he have a perfect recovery despite overlapping much. Joining his attackers up front talking of Alaide Oyemian who plays as a right back and as well always in front to create space and attempt on goal for his own teammates. For back for an attempt to Clement Lucky. Not the best one from Lucky who wants to strike for goal himself. Confidence keep rising into the mind of Clement Lucky so far. Pretty working out for the young midfielder in the middle of the area. Having it so much good. Of goal scores into his own diary as a midfielder, scoring much more goal than even a top man up front. Scoring much more goal for FC Bede in the color of FC Bede. It's been so much exceptional since joining. Freaky giving an advantage of the visitors who are still eager to get an equalizer. It's so much difficult to just have it how much good to break the defense line of the FC Bede side. The likes of Judge Etido and Precious O'Hare. At the end, they survived the setup, and it's going to be a relief for FC Bede side. Still much time to play before half time. It's still one only in advantage of the host, thanks to David Aramore's strike, open the scoring for 
the FC Villa side and they've been so much close to hand to the tally one of the best pass there from Chisholm Otogu they cross his side into a big problem and there is no pressure for goalkeeper Akwashi Cosmos he's the captain of the side Right of Samuel Joseph on the bench for FC Bede and Okole Calvin with Tekula Fanning. One of the most consistent centre back as well, the Chuku Kenna. On the bench as well to possibly make their home positive impact in the second half of this game for the FC Bede boys. There's another tackling on the face of the Okaka FC player. I tend to allow the referee to know he's okay. Last one in sent to Enter the Judge. That's a free kick in advantage of the physical side who are really been looking very much dull from but they still not relenting to just give themselves a little hope of possibly getting the equalizer. It's still a disappointing strike, which makes it easy for goalkeeper appreciate Cosmos. Enjoyable moment for goalkeeper so far, who has not really been under pressure. Talking of Akureshi Cosmos. Still one of the most reliable and consistent goalkeeper for FC Berisai. Talking of Akureshi Cosmos with numbers of save makes into his own glove. 20 minutes of action is yet to make a meaningful save. Trying to organize the center match. Two shot for Razak Mendy. Uh, gives advantage for FC Bede to recover quickly once again for Razak Mendy to run forward. He's thrown alongside Olaide, received by the right back who now comes forward. Olaide cross, and it's easily catched by Ahmed Usman. You wonder how these right back always overlap to join the attackers up front and still always back to his normal position as a right back. Showing his pace and agility. Kind of energy displayed from the right back. It's been so much exceptional. Always back to his normal position. Where you see him up front to overlap. He's still always back to his own position. Springs forward for other Kule Musilio. Good pass forward by goalkeeper Korishi Cosmos. We'll locate his center forward. Madhu Jude, a strike from Alex. A strike is luck. Not a bad attempt. Not going directly as a shot on target. It's a rolling ball. And the referee will want a goal kick to be retaken. <laughs> for what? <laughs> so uh, for worries. <laughs> He's out for a troll. Couple of the facts that these two teams have really been playing with so much confidence. The Brasides still trying to maintain their one goal lead with numbers of chances after scoring the opening goal. Other Kula Musali hits the post. David Aremo as well was so close to have to the tally for himself as the goalkeeper for now is now Ahmed Usman for Okak FC. I will now give advantage for the two teams to have a water break. It's been a very much sunny day live at the FC Bede Stadium here in Shagan, home state Nigeria. The home ground, the home soil, and the home territory of the FC Bede side where they host all opponents who come here. 70% of their matches played on their home side. Very record victory. And with that, little injury slight one to Ahmed Usman, goalkeeper of your KKFC. Give advantage for the players to have a water break and as well have instruction with the tacticians. Two coaches are now having little advantage and time to talk to their boys. 
due to the injuries sustained by Ahmed Usman, goalkeeper. KKFC was showing a serious sign of pain. I may not be able to continue to give way for Kudus Olaifa, who is the second choice goalkeeper for KKFC. Uh, and it's going to be a triple substitution from the Okakaf's side. This time is the introduction of Kugochuku Umwako. Alongside James Emmanuel with the introduction of Hope David. Finally, it's the last taste of the game for Moshud Lamina. Alongside the centre back James Makajula who now makes way for a fresh leg. Might as well have a taste of this day for the next minutes. Plus, what the stoppage time will be before half time. Still much to come in the second 45 minutes as well. Go forward. This is good there from Musilu. We're taking there from Ahmed, Razak, Lucky. That's a beautiful pass from Lucky. Lucky's the better man who gave the pass to Arendt. And it's the second big save made by goalkeeper Ahmed Usman. With so much furious with his centre back, without give that back. A hopeful space. But what's all right? Look at that right in major pass from Clement Lucky. It's a wonderful. What a pro measure pass. Just make sure the pass is absolutely correct. Get delivered to Aramo David. Was so much close to get it goal number two for himself. It's a well measure pass from Clement Lucky. Beats the defender. Tries everything possible to stop that pass. It is unstoppable. And that is what Clement Lucky is always good at. Pitch for a hope. This time, no room. Out by Waris. The stop go out by Francis Joe. We're now trying to come forward for a possible attack and nothing to show at the end. Disappointing one from the visitors. Go kick given. to get across. Talk about the ball possession for FC Bennett's advantage. But this is a lie we me. We receive by Clement Lucky the control from the midfielder, not the best one. And that surely will be a foul, which will be an advantage of FC Bennett. Committed on, Clement Lucky. Okay, you're not really happy with our pass. We're trying to just give that instruction to apply the way on how he wants the pass to come. Oyemi will take the freaky course again. A possible hand to possibly strike for goal himself if he wants. Yes, he goes for goal but it's blocked by the wall. Mad you? Pressures down. The defenders are under pressure this time and it's well stopped confidently by Akinshola Waris. We have to come from his position as a left back to join the centre back in that position. To go Chisholm. Give out a piece of pass to the opponents. So to the middle. Now it's a big problem there. A strike for goal. They must be careful as they are losing out the ball possession triply to the hands of your KKFC side. As well, seriously, in search for the equalizer to level up before half time. 
is seriously fighting so much after be back in this game. A push. Correct decision by our referee, which will be free kick in advantage of KKFC. Emmanuel Daniel. Locate his own teammates. A possible hand goal to swing it in. Not the best clearance there from pressures. Almost put his side into a big problem, but it's a very much needed clearance made. Head forward now. This is Adekule Musilio. A possible hand goal. And it's another big side made by Ahmed Usman. This goalkeeper is just so brilliant. It's the third meaningful save made in this game. What another big chance for Dekule Musilev to open the scoring for himself. One on one with goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper is showing the reason why he remained the number one choice for KKFC. And that is the reason why the coach is having that big trust in him. But for now, there is a player down for KKFC side this time. Is Latin Suleiman. Three big save made so far by Hamed Usman, goalkeeper for KKFC to deny. It's a birthday from scoring goal number two, number three, number four. A possible angle for centre forward to score. Still so much of struggling in that kind of good position. Akin Shalawaris will take the corner huh, with numbers of players of the FC Bede inside of territory got the delivery of ball and finally and it's clever lucky it is unusual to score with his head at this time around it's a head in boots with a tongue of a head and clever lucky punch the sky and a blunder one there from the young midfielder who is having one of the best moments of his career. Not so much usual to see Clement Lucky score with his head. And you can see, he says thank you to the fans who are applauding for that brilliant heading. And there is nothing for Ahmed Usman to do about that this time. A big relief for FC Bede. 2 0 in advantage of the host. What a moment, what a goal that was. It's the top of the post, drops into the back of the net and goalkeeper becoming a spectator. Watch the ball as it drops into his own backyard. And nothing for Ahmed Usman to do about that. And finally it's beaten for the second time in this game. Side. See the, the bench of the Okaka FC side now seems to be a place as they are now watching the game. We just, oh God, let this game just end this way, well, praying not to just concede more. Has they not really been making any positive impacts so far up front? Like I said, it was seriously inside for a goal. We yet to put a Koreshi Cosmos into a test so far with 30 minutes of action. Yokashon, one of the players of the Okaka FC as well. Madu, good move from the midfielder. Otogu, the best ball there from Otogu Chizon. Sixty with. A perfect demonstration, freaky given, advantage, you have to be signed. The FCB coach seems confused. Uh, 
Sexy back. Lucky Evelyn Ford. Not the best clearance. And each time goalkeeper is there to make that save. That's why considering goal number two, surely be open not to concede more. So much hope. Having an excellent game, that's by considering two talking of Ahmed Usman, goalkeeper for Oka KFC. Not had a decent game. Staff to put much more blame on the defenders of the Oka KFC side who have really been open so much space for FC Bene side to play. They've been punished twice for that heading from Clement Lucky will never be stopped by any goalkeeper on the planet. The heading was high to the top of the post. <laughs> Even Andrea Nana of Manchester United will not stop that. A chance to strike for goal! They're just wasting numbers of chances for a side who is seriously hungry for goal and they're still struggling to just put goalkeeper into test. I think they have to just go back after half time and go back to the dressing room, possibly have a quick watch of the first 45 minutes of the action and see where things went wrong and possibly have a decent second 45 minutes of this game. Talking of the Okaka FC side. Well, not only they're making the FC Bene side sweat for their money. Free kick, advantage. FC Bene. Lucky. Into the main do. To go Chisholm. Show back. Mussolini. Jump over four for a fans. And it's a stopover for a throw in advantage of a KFC. No room for an opportunity for a goal. They surely be hoping to just possibly reduce the scoreline even if they cannot get the full equalizer to just reduce the scoreline. That's a better side still not relenting to score more before half time and give them a high hope of sealing this game. Come back into the second for the five minutes of this game to feel much more relaxed. If they are unable to score the top goal, they will just still be so much satisfied with these two goals. The KKFC fighting so much out of front. Good corner, head out. Decision perfectly made, but still not yet out of the danger zone of the FCB side. This time, no way to break that defense line. A perfect pass, but this time, the result is gone. And it's going to be a yellow card to the offender for that challenge. And Razak Mendy, this time is Emmanuel Daniel, who goes into the referee booking is the centre back. Emmanuel Daniel. They all resemble the former AC Milan and Inter Milan. Here goes Tom from our Italy defender. Good crossing there once again. Why are they trying to hijack that? Oh, the best control. That's a confident ball there from the left back. I can show the worries. And now they put themselves into a problem. It's not well utilized by the Kakefsi side. Cross is good. 
Lucky in a very much good position. He loves to strike. Mado once again. For the second time in this game, he's trying for goal and he strikes heavily once again. Clement Lucky was not given much more opportunity to strike in a very much good position. He loves to strike. Razak Mendy with the pass. Tibi. A light day this time. Oh, Yemi did well. And he wins the side. A corner. Good job by the right back. That strength, that energy. Always restored. And the fans are really loving that approach from the right back. We have been so much exceptional. When he joins the attack up front, he's really always in a very much good vision and mission, causing much more problem for the defenders. It seems to be unstoppable when he runs to join the attackers up front and he's looking very much good with the page and run. We are very safe once again. Good run from the right back at the end. It's closed on by him. The vendor will have to come from nowhere to stop the run there from a light away. I mean, it's the turn of James Emmanuel. Flag is up for one outside. Let's go on to the big goal, that's the code of the FCB side. On the touch line. From Nigeria International, he represents Nigeria, the international level, and now continue his career as the FC Bele coach, talking of the flying Megara. Now having a good spell with the FC Bele team. Represented FC Bele team as well, the senior team. It's not a big house why right? the club owner have that big trust in him. Uh, deliver in his own playing time. Now uh, trying to deliver as a coach. The man I'm talking about, which is fine for FC Bay side. His side leads by two goes to new. It's looking very much pretty well to have a good start for the year 2024. That's in his side, trash to Dre sitting beside him the early year of January for this same month, same year, four goals to one. A day to remember. Couple control. Lattice to live on. Launching forward now. A strike! Still not their time. Still not their moment. Sunday, Bamidele once again. Still so much eager up front alongside the center forward Sunday Daniel. They're still seriously fighting so much hard to have that breakthrough up front and get to KKFC hopefully a goal to reduce the scoreline before the stroke of half time. And they have a free kick now in a very much promising area to put Aquarishi Cosmos into a test. He's having holiday in the goal post so far since the start of this game, talking of Aquarishi Cosmos. But for now, Okaka FC side have a free kick in a very much good area. Francis Joe will take this free kick. May wants to strike for goal himself. Keep trying to have a formidable war to block that Francis Joe free kick. Poor, worst, and worse. Disappointing war with time to think. And at the end, it's still nothing to show from Francis Joe, who had numbers of time to think.
that run from the flying and cross to goalkeeper's hand. I think the coach of Yokaka FC will have to go back to the drawing table before second for the five minutes and make positive changes in this game as well. There is a player rolling in pain for Kaka FC, but before then, play still continue. And finally, the referee will have to stop the game and call upon the medics to attend to the player down injured for Kaka FC, is the captain of the side, Adebayo Sodic. It's okay without needing medics' attention. Side still struggling with two goals as we already approaching half time of this game with two minutes to play. Plus, what the stoppage time of this half will be with the right. The referee really had a very much enjoyable fourth for the five minutes of this encounter. Lati Suleiman trying to run to space available. Sexy back to the last man standing, Emmanuel Daniel Suleiman. Chip with a pass there from Ugachuku Wanko. Triple with a perfect ball control there from Oyedele Abiodun. They're a little having the confidence as they come forward with numbers of players joining the attack for Kak FC. They need to just deliver up front. Time really running out before half time. But they still have much time to play in the second 45 minutes. Foul seen by a referee. Close to the referee stand. Freaky give an advantage. Kaka FC side. To the left side now for a possible attempt with Lassie. It's a good ball in. Still nothing to show at the end. To give them themselves a little hope of just reducing the score line. Cross is good, and a chance. Nothing to the worry for goalkeeper Koreshi Cosmos, who is lacking the day. A push of attack forward. Almost a long goal. Not the best communication between his centre back and the goalkeeper, but the reflection was absolutely brilliant for goalkeeper again for the fourth time in this game. For the fourth time in this game, it's making that bit safe. But that pace, the run, the agility from Olaide Oyemi again is causing much more problem for the defenders of the Akaka FC, who seems to be unstoppable. Olaide Oyemi is enjoying the moment. That pace, that run, the agility, the accuracy is causing much more problem for the opponent of the FC better side, Atido Judge this time. The defender wins the side a corner and you can see the smile on the face on the big centre back. Another corner in advantage and this time will be taken by Akinshola Waris. With high quality Olaide Oyemi is giving everything all right to deliver both up front and as a right back to just make sure everything works out. What's that good? Akishola Waris will have to take this. He was the man who takes the corner earlier from Clement Lucky go. Etty the George high this time. And that will be that. Enough is enough, saves the referee. As he put an end to the very much interesting and orated dead package of this first 45 minute. It's still host will lead by two goals to nil. First 45 minute comes to an end. It is FC Abede 2 for Kaka FC here to score.
pleasure to introduce to you uh, ambassadors of this team, of this country, of this continent. You know, uh, we we'll start with uh, uh, Paul. Give me the honor to your name. Can you name some of the Nigerian players who came to Michigan? I know um, Paul Onwachu. Rafael Onyedika. Franco Ika. Oliwana San. Olua Femi Ajiloe. Because the new ones, uh, Musbaudin Jamil, Mark Ugbo, and myself, Isa Musa. My name is Isa Musa Abubakar. I'm from Nigeria and I'm 18 years old. I'm a striker and also a winger. In FC Bede, it's, it's really tough. Every day, you just need to give your best, like 100% every day. The first day they asked me to come train with the first team, it was like as if I was dreaming. Like I've been here for like a month and two weeks, and already they asked me to come train with them and achieving some of my dreams.
my pleasure to introduce to you uh, ambassadors of this team, of this country. Can you name some of the Nigerian players who came to Michigan? I know um Paul Onwachu. Rafael Onyedika. 
Gutes. Franco Yika. Agiluana San. Lua Femi Ajiluri. And of course, the new ones are Musbaudin Jamil, Mark Ugbo, and myself, Isa Musa. My name is Isa Musa Abubakar. I'm from Nigeria and I'm 18 years old. I'm a striker and also a winger. In FC Bede, it's, it's really tough. Yeah. Every day, you just need to give your best, like 100% every day. The first day they asked me to come train with the first team, it was like as if I was dreaming. Like I've been here for like a month and two weeks, and already they asked me to come train with them and achieving some of my dreams. My pleasure to introduce to you uh, ambassadors of this team, of this country. My pleasure to introduce to you uh, ambassadors of this team, of this country, of this continent. You know, uh, we we'll start with Paul. Give me the you, you, you know.
Can you name some of the Nigerian players who came to Michigan? I know um, Paul Onwachu. Rafael Onyedika. Franco Yika. Oliwana San. Lua Femi Ajiloe. And of course, the new ones are uh, Musbaudin Jamio, Mark Ugbo, and myself, Isa Musa. My name is Isa Musa Abubakar. I'm from Nigeria and I'm 18 years old. I'm a striker and also a winger. In FC Bede, it's, it's really tough. Every day, you just need to give your best, like 100% every day. The first day they asked me to come train with the first team, it was like as if I was dreaming. Like I've been here for like a month and two weeks, and already they asked me to come train with them and achieving some of my dreams. My pleasure to introduce to you uh, ambassadors of this team, of this country. First half was all in favor and advantage of the O's who had really been so much entertaining. And they are back once again the second 45 minute numbers of changes in the colors of the SB side. As they are trying to get everything right in the second half to continue from where they stop in the first 45 minutes of this game. Hopefully it ends well for the SB boys who had a very much good descent first 45 minutes. And hopefully they will surely try everything possible to continue their first half good mentality run. Changing the goalkeeper department for the FCB side. The introduction of Ojo Daniel will replace Aparishi Cosmos who had a very good first for five minutes. Only had one save made. And now makes way for the second choice goalkeeper. They have the introduction of uh, Takula Fana alongside one of the Onyeka for the FC Bede side. The body, they were close to just 
knock and get the door open. And then it is out for a goal kick. Finally, we have the introduction of Uta Chuku Kenan, the center back row. Spimpia with pressures. O'Hare sees that's the judge drop to the bench. Lucky now is the captain of the side after seeing Aparishi Cosmos starts the second half from the bench and gives way for Ojo Daniel. Cross is good! And it's very much in a good way for goalkeeper Ojo Daniel who lost that. Was a kid on your car? Flag is all for an offside. Now we have the advantage for a run introduction of Kari Kari Suleiman up front as well. She's on. Akin Shalawaris. On your car. Okay, trying to run into the middle. Springs it perfectly well. A big chance, but the flag is over. The pressure for that, and that's a bit relief for Kakef's side, but now goalkeeper Hamid Usman is down injured. I think it should be okay. Good big blow to see him off this game, but Kakef's side will have to say thank you. Rising up and continue. Ahmed Musa out well. He joins Nigeria. We'll be the captain to lead the Super Eagles in Rupin and hopefully it's rally for a big confidence for the young Nigerian player who as well wants to represent Nigeria starting from the grassroots. And it's the best platform for SBD. A big platform. Frank Oyeka and Frank Oyedika are Rafael Oyedika are FC Beta products. And now representing the Super Eagles at the top level in the right in Ivory Coast to possibly bring back the glory for Nigeria and as well bring the African Cup of Nations back to Nigeria. This is another big platform for these young boys playing for El Sebede, having that kind of big confidence. They are in a better place to showcase themselves and showcase their talent to the world. A dream for every player who wants to start from scratch and as well deliver at the top level to just get things right and start from here. That is why you have to see much more of these players playing with sweat and energy to deliver and get themselves the right big call and bring the genes of their family to become world known throughout the universe as a football player. Minute of action in the start of the second half, and it's still left Sibiri with leads by two goals to nil, two goals goal in the first half of this game. The coach of Kakev's side now trying to be much more active in the second half, better than being silent in the first half. Soon as dies. Boy is struggling all through first for the five minutes and now making sure they have to play along with his boys. Possibly get a meaningful result at the end of this game. Back to Lagos. One touch football, and that is a very much needed interception made by the defender. The one touch of football almost caught it out. To bring it down the best line of your KKFC to get himself goal number three. Well read by the defender to make this sliding a perfect one, not to make a contact. The 
For goal, still blocked, still not survive. Inside of the box area now. And finally, the whistle is gone. It's going to be in advantage of the FC Bay side. But coming closer and closer to just possibly get more goals in the second half of this game. Roger Daniel alongside Ahmed Usman and made one save each in the second half of this game. And there is still a possible moment to witness more with much more time to play. The kick advantage for the FC Bay side this time is a shot on to Utugo Chisholm. No foul given by referee to let play continues. Advantage of the better side. Carry, carry, Suleiman. Saved by goalkeeper at the end. So another problem for Ahmed Usman, goalkeeper for Kakao's east side after having a slight contact with Carry, carry, Usman. A big blow to see more of this game. Talking of Ahmed Usman, who has really been so much spectacular and exceptional in this game with a couple of saves made to deny seven and more goals. We had slight contact with Kari Kari Sulaiman, but it's okay to continue. Ahmed Usman, who had the decent first 45 minutes performance. Okay, to the top is still in a very much good way. The defender must be careful not to make a horrible mistake which may then seal them being punished and penalized. And strike for goal, which makes easy for Ojo Daniel who stand right in a very good position to make that catch for himself. Sides are now trying to just get organized and have a decent second 45 minute performance. Better than the way they approached the first 45 minutes of this game. The best pass out here from Clement Lucky, disappointing one from the midfielder who knows he should have done better with that pass. High ball launch forward now, marked down by Ikena, foul, seen by referee, and it's going to be freaky given in advantage of Okakev's side after a foul committed by Ikena with the Chuku. The man will replace Etito George. The captain of the side will take the free kick this time for the Okakev's side. Out of bio, Sodic. 
still giving much more hope for his own teammates to possibly get a goal quickly and fight for the equalizer if possible. Adebayo Sodic. Still don't understand the attack FC boys are thinking so far in this game with their set pieces. Like set pieces have been so much in a disappointing way, disgusting to see. Playing the ball without putting goalkeeper into test in a very much good position to play a meaningful shot on target, but at the end, still nothing to write home about. Played out by the defender Emmanuel Daniel. Jim Oridwan. Keep complaining to the referee. He should have been a yellow card of fans. Good throw from the captain. Now the bio Sodi. Swing C. Head out by Samuel Joseph. Mehdi Razak. Wins the side of free kick. Was close in the first half of this game as well, Razak Mendy. Put himself on the score sheet, but quite unfortunate. Ahmed Pusman made that big save to deny Razak Mendy alongside other Kule Musileu. A triple substitution from the Okaka Society visitors are still not relenting to those. Put much more problem up front. They have introduction of Sultan Abdurrahman alongside Fred Chuku. With the introduction of Wisdom Edits. Hopefully the new faces and fresh leg will be a positive one for KFC to possibly reduce the scoreline in this game. Big chance once again now for the boys of Only say they're looking very much good, but so much crapple up front to just get it much more right by heading to the tally. The lights of other Kule Musilu and the start of David Aremo done the assignment in the first half. It's been a silent day up front for Karakari Sulaiman. Alongside Mwosike Oyeka, still finding it very more difficult to have that breakthrough and put the ball into the back of the net. Text to the wall, utilize strike from David Aramon in the first half and a fine, brilliant heading from Kareem and Lucky. Seal this in the first half of this game and they're maintaining that two goals. Surely it should be enough for them to smile for the second win of the year 2024. Obviously not lost. Kakao's side are still trying to push for a hole. Running to traffic. From the FCB side, it seems so much time for the Kakao's to send it forward. Good job there from Ikena. Who the Chuku? Not well by Waris for KKFC Troll. Now football played already. 13 minutes to still play. Sunday Daniel. The call for a run of attack. We're claiming lucky. And it's going to be a penalty. Lucky with a pace and the ball movement knows it's going to cause a problem for the defenders of the Okaka FC as he wins the side. A penalty, but there is a big call from Clement Lucky on the medics of the team to come over and attend to him, who is down for now. We have the arrival of the medics of the FCB side now attending to Clement Lucky. It's a red card to the captain of the side. And finally, 
It's been shown the Aziz door is not really leading by example in this game. And what exactly will his own teammate deliver after seeing a much more aggressive show from Adebayo Sadiq, who is now being shown the Aziz door. Still wondering why he's clapping to his own teammates. He's having a crop on day. And now gives the band to Fred Chuku to continue from where he stops. Hopefully, would now just have the footstep of Adebal Sodic to be shown right. It's going to be Kari, Kari Sulaiman to take the penalty. Kari, Kari Sulaiman replace other Kule Musali in the start of the second half. And now he's not going to be the man to take. Abu Bakri Abdullahi was introduced in the second half as well and is having that big responsibility. Abdullahi will take the penalty against Ahmed Usman. Abu Bakri with that big responsibility to give FC a three goal lead. Abu Bakri sends him the wrong way. Well taking penalty. Two count without pressure. Well taking penalty. No pressure on the young boy. He was called to take that penalty after Kari Kari leaped first. And the head coach of the FC Bay have to call on Abu Bakri. Have to lie to take that big responsibility. And is well delivered by sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. And I have to say thank you, coach, for trusting me. And having that big belief in me. Well delivered, and now uh, it is hopefully sealed, and it's time for the day to record their second win of the year. Fado! Clement Lucky was injured now. No! It's okay to continue. Fire! Ah, you! I'll say about referee this time, a big relief for Kaka FC Free Kick. Quick one. Touch. Play on the fire. Swing for attack forward this time. It surely will be a bad start of the year for KKLC. Three are sitting beside that come down here to suffer as well. It's the turn of KKLC to taste every defeat. Possibly what will surely be in their mind is just to reduce the scoreline. They know it is not going to be a miracle day for them to share points or come back win in this three goal lead. Playing against the side who is not always relenting in scoring more goals. A possible of four come forward. Sure the coach of Okaka FC will know it is just over. I have to talk to his boys. Let's just go on this score line. Let's go! Let's go! possible moment. The sliding was very much needed to start the run wonderfully and well by Onyeka. It's going to be a throw. Much surprised to see Olaide Oyami being replaced alongside other Kole Musile with David Arema up front and Madu Jude. Go! Bicycle kick. Let's go kick at the end. 
I mean, this man who tried to just talk to his boys, let's rehab quickly and possibly get a goal to reduce the margin. They've not really been playing so much impressive up front, talking of the attackers itself, like a side who is seriously eager to score. Despite having a change of goalkeeper for the FC Bede side, introducing their second choice goalkeeper, Hojo Daniel, was only called once to action since replacing Aparishi Cosmos in the second half of this game. Too much to play. They need to just talk to themselves up front. The attackers have not really been so much active up front. Give them much more opportunity for the FCB. They send the back as well to join the attackers up front. Feeling relaxed and with confidence to play. Sonny Daniel. Akin Shalawari did well. It's another FCB the future. A chance. He should score. No problem. This man, this young boy with a cool confidence, wrap up that pass with a perfect ball run to finish up the assignment. Who wants to get on your car with a cool cam, relax before bringing up one of the goalkeeper, beats the goalkeeper first. Open up his eyes and put the ball into the back of the net confidently. It is now sealed and confirmed, authorized and sealed. It's the second win for the year and he's coming with goal number four again. And possibly before 90, we might record another goal number five. He's just becoming a run riot. And they are cheering for KKFC apart. Never saw this coming, but it's happening. Hopefully the fans of Okaka FC will not continue to scratch their eyes. They will surely believe it is happening live. It was a call. It's a penalty or outside box area. The referee decision will surely confirm if it's going to be another penalty and it's going to be the second of the game for FC Bede. Penalty given and it's really becoming a back towards day for KK FC. Now, seriously suffering to the hands of the FC Bede side. This time it is going to be Kari, Kari Sulaiman to take. Kari, Kari Sulaiman must go as well to put himself on the score sheet. Sulaiman missed. Rebound should be able to do it. Not the best penalty, but you have to just take it that way. Make the follow up from the penalty. And it's five goals in advantage of FC Bede. Okaka FC will have to just feel sorry for themselves. Five goals. Twenty minutes to go. How many goals are we to record with twenty more minutes to play? Five on reply goal for now. On an advantage. Substitution made. This time is introduction of peace. A focus seat. Twenty minutes to still play. Okaka FC must just be careful. Five goals a bad day. Akin Shola worries. Echo Wamba, Echo 
Much more with confidence for the SFL boys to now touch and enjoy the moment of lead. No God of soccer can bring them back in this game, talking about KKC. It's a game already. Okaka FC now well spelled with five goals by the FC Bene side. Hopefully they will have FC to lead by scoring more two goals. This time they have to just go back home and feel sorry for themselves and watch all by game how and where things were wrong and possibly prepare themselves ahead of their next friendly game. So it's like preparing for a National Wide League One game. This is not the best performance as expected. So they have to still do more. And recruiting much more experienced players. Otherwise. I mean just. So far. We just have to feel sorry for the Okaka FC side. That's all the FC Billy side. Pity the heart of the Okaka fans as well, watching them from home. That's a rest. That's a rest. Not the best outing to start a new year. Despite the brilliant performance from Ahmed Usman, and it's still five goals considered. Five goals score without the inclusion of other Kole Musilio on the score sheet. Not the best for the top man up front, who is still in sack for his first of the year 2024. Had a better day, all right. Better ending for the year 2023, scoring four goals in their last game for the year 2023, and still finding it so much hard to have his first for the year 2024. It's going to be another triple substitution from the FC the side. Confidence arise from the centre back and the midfielder who is now making one touch of football. Razak Mendy. Oyeka. A strike for goal. Straight to the goal. Keep his hands. Introduction of Fanning alongside Divine with Kelvin to make their own. Oh, yeah, 
Introduction of Takula Fanana alongside Divine Maurice Wiggs for Coley Calvin to possibly add to the problem and the ungrand for Kaka FC. You will just have to pity the soul of the Kaka FC by now scoring more and let it end this way, Wiggs. 14 minutes to play. I'm not sure the coach of the Kakef's side never saw this coming. Speaking ahead of the game, these boys are seriously ready to possibly become the first team to come on the FC Bele soil and record victory. At the end, it's becoming a different story entirely. Approaching the game with full much confidence, considering the space of seven minutes of action in the first half. Movement! No! Now for a run of attack. This time it's the disappointing one from Divine Maurice. And out for a goal kick. Little time to still play. It's still five goals in a much more confidence for the FC Bale side to seal the game. Takes it back to Ikena. Pressures Ohiri. Samuel Joseph. Otugo Chisholm. Good turn there from Otugo. It's a foul seen by a referee in a standing close range. Still a worry day for KKFC sides. Who only will be thinking of how possible they can just reduce the score line without even thinking of sharing couple of eggs. Not the best one in there from Fanny Takula. Foul saying by referee. You know, can't. Shown to Samuel Joseph at the end. So that challenge on the young midfielder who had really been having it so much good. That's why the side concede. Five goals, Laxi Suleiman. His own teammate caught upon the medics to prescribe. Possibly come over quickly to attend to Laxi Suleiman rolling in pain. That's why the side. Suffering five goals in this game. And this same game so far from the start. Lati Suleiman. He's been attended to by the medics. Hopefully, will be okay to continue and hence this with his own teammates. They've not really started well. It's not just a surprising one to see them suffer five goals. We just hope not to concede more and go back to Lagos to restart once again. To Suleiman is straight off the field to let play continues with 10 minutes to play plus what a stoppage time of this will be before full time five goals thriller advantage FC Bele three wonderful strike two penalties well converted and that's two not slipping over to Adi Divine Morris for the second time in this game the space of two minutes, strike for goal twice and heavily done. Six back to Ojo Daniel, not just been having much work to do as well, he was only called to action since he replaced Akorishi Cosmos and now. He's having a big day in the goal post as well, enjoying the moment. Otugo Chizam. 
Precious Ohiri joins Ojo Daniel. Akin Shalawaris receive. Ikena Udechuku. Razak Mende with the turning. Waris receive. Now we we'll have to try to come forward. This time it's a poor pass. It's recovered quickly by Emmanuel Daniel. Crumple back for Otugo. She's up. Worries this time. Coming to try as much as possible to join the attack up from Razak Mendy. Ocho Daniel this time. Ikena Udachuku. Confidence arising this time. They know it's a job well done. They've still the assignment. They've done the job in a perfect way. Five goals are replied for now with seven minutes to play. Okaka FC Divine and Spell with five goals. And it's still not just what they want. But nevertheless, they've come out to play against the side who is. Seriously, better than them in every aspect. Good ball to Onyeka, the control not the best. That makes it easy at the end for goalkeeper Ahmed Usman, who had really been having a very much busy evening. It hasn't been a rest day for goalkeeper. Quite different from the way Akwarishi Cosmos enjoyed the goal alongside the introduction of the second choice goalkeeper for FC Brede Ojo Daniel. Who as well only had one save made so far since his introduction in the start of the second half. Okay, FC have time to now think. Since he perfectly well. I hope! No tips of the finger to deny that. It was so close. It's the best of the game so far. They were almost close. It's just the best of the game. And goalkeeper with that reflection of dive. Make sure the ball is well watched for a goal kick. That diving reflection from goalkeeper. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant. Make sure it is well followed up to make sure the ball did not drop directly into his own net. And that is why the diving is made by Ojo Daniel, I think. A disappointing one at the end. And goal kick will be. It extracts the end of the story and they have to rewrite once again and hopefully look for a worse team to play to put a smile into their face. Still wondering what the coach, the assistant coach of the KKFC sending instruction and information to his boys despite struggling and suffering five goals. Just have to sit down and relax for the next five minutes and go back to Lagos. Wondering what exactly is the information he's passing to his boys at this late time in it. You want to score one, two, three, four, five goals in the space of a minute. And this time they might just be careful. They are very lucky this time. They have to say thank you to the assistant referee for the flag raised for an offside. So then Ahmed Usman signal to his own team and the coach he is not fit to continue. Signal show by Hamid Usman <laughs> having that kind of strength and fitness to continue. Yet suffer five goals, you have to pity this goalkeeper with a couple of good save made. There's nothing to do about those five goals considered. We're exactly where all the defenders living goalkeeper exposed. I'm very much sure I'm not expecting much more additional time from the referee with scoreline. 
Cardinals be a mini. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hola, Chance to make a six. Hey, brother. Oh, Colin Calvin. Almost put himself on the score sheet with his introduction. And the fans not really happy with that means there from Macaulay Calvin. We should have done better with that kind of big chance and big opportunity that moment for himself to put himself on the score sheet and put money into the numbers of fans who is watching this game live. Oh, really expected him to put the ball into the back of the net easily. I can show that what is will take this corner. I've really been having a good game so far. Had one assist in the goal. See him deliver a well corner, which was well edited by Clement Lucky. Some stump pass. Clement Lucky was called the second goal for half time. Wondering why this message keep coming, Kaka FC. Kaka was well spelled with goals, five goals. If you have to spell a Kaka, you start with O K H K with five words, and that is what we have here with the goals. Five goals, but possibly they may want to cancel hey from it and have a Kak. But with the way it is, it is not really coming good for them. Second time they may want to put Ojo Daniel into test. He's trying to make. Four man walk. Jim read one. And it's taken by Fred. No problem for a goalkeeper who makes it a easy kite for himself, who stand right in a good position. He's trying to keep clean sheets. The ball move forward now. It's at the end. Saved by a goalkeeper. Possibly the boys have to just put the yeah. head of your Kaka FC by not scoring more. Fire, fire. Divine. No. What to go, Chisholm? Ah. To go. A strong strike. That makes it easy for a goalkeeper. It's been a very much busy day for a goalkeeper, Ahmed Usman, despite considering five no numbers of saves made as well. But no record will surely be given as a decent performance with a goalkeeper considering five goals. Oika. Go! To the right side. Oika once again. Divine Morris. Fanny Tekula. Oh my god, he was just trying to tip across to make it very easy to add in into the back of it. And good ball move there by Fernand Tekula. It's a good thinking, but at the end, the finish was not well wrapped. Good ball movement. Already approaching my team of this game. Center referee as well should check on his watch and pity the heart of the Okaka FC side by putting the ball into the. And the mood just trying to put his game into hand and trying to just feel sorry as well for the Okak FC side. He's already really right, losing hope and getting everything. No way for a goal, but they have a chance from a corner this time, and that may just be the last kick of the game. Ninety minutes played into stoppage time of this game. Five nil in advantage of FC Bidei. Okaka FC coach is still trying to just pass instruction to the boys. Let's just wrap by getting a goal. At the hands, it is nothing to show. The delivery from set pieces have not really been so much spectacular, so much poor from delivery. It's seriously affecting 
or Kaka FC. They've really been so much silent up front as well. They only had one shot on target in the first half, one in the second half, and missing two. It's a foul from the outside box area, not inside. One of Zike Onyeka is the man injured down for the bit of side, and the offender goes into the referee booking. Thank you, Shola Waris. I have to call upon the medics to uh, please quickly attend to. Uh, one of Zike Onyeka will surely be okay without needing medics' attention. Deva Morris will take the free kick from the left river side of this time, close to the edge of the box. Alongside Akin Shalawaris. For now, there is a player down rolling in pain for a carcass side. This time was the player who was introduced some minutes ago, Wisdom Edex. And Yellow Card first. Yellow Card received by the FCB side, Kenna Udechuku. The man will replace Eddie the George in that center back row. Two minute play for the stop return from the referee. And it's not just the best one ever done this time. It's going to be. A corner in advantage of FC Benicide as they seriously still pushing for more to get himself goal number six in this game. No! Shot and quick one this time. No, fire! Trying to run to space. A strike for goal. And referee will not be interested in much more action. He have to just feel sorry. And pity the heart of your Kaka side. It's a disabriding of very much decent performance from the FCB side. A well deserved victory. They played well from the start till 19 minutes. And they deserve the victory. Five unreplied goals. This is not just the best for Kaka FC. It's a second for the year 2024. And one of the best to record. 4 1 intended against 3 SC Timbi. It's the second for the year against Kaka FC. After full time whistle, it is FCB 5. Okaka FC New. My name is Bashir Ibrahim, and with the coverage so far, I've been Ebuka Stanley alongside Aliu with the studio manager, Shamshuddin.